All right. Back at it, you with another one. Please like, subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. Jags to riches. Straight to it. So the off season, according to quite a few, especially the worst week of August, Celtics lost the off season, right? They've only signed off. They've only signed Dennis Cantor. They haven't made enough moves. Blah blah blah. Uh, what? Three or four days later, breaking news. Dennis Schroeder signs $5.9 million minimum to join the Celtics on a one-year. So I kind of, at this point, my video yesterday, I didn't go into a lot of detail as far as the Schroeder signing. Um, that was for a reason with this one coming. Um, but I wanted to just go into how did we get here? You know, what moves transpired on both sides in this this crazy saga so who is Dennis Schroeder for those of you who don't know um, 27 28 year old guard I think he's been in the league eight years now played four five five years with Atlanta two with OKC one with LA so eight years uh, pretty much in his early career with Atlanta came off the bench the first year or two I want to say he started the last year or two with Atlanta and that's when he was getting up to 17 18 19 a game Four or five assists, same with rebounds, ended up going to OKC last year there with that three-point guard lineup of Paul, Shea Yildris, Dennis Schroeder. He was the runner-up for six man of the year. Average, what, 19 and four and a half, something along those lines. Went to LA and was their starting point guard and actually started the year off on fire. I think a lot of people forget like how good the Lakers were doing and how well Schroeder, uh, <clears throat> LeBron, and Anthony Davis were playing together. But obviously we know how that turned out. They had a bad year, so the LeBron you know, fans had to find someone to point it at. So unfortunately, Schroeder, you know. It's also funny though. Remember they also signed Montrez Harrell? The guy that actually beat Schroeder for sixth man of the year, he had a pretty bad season too, right? It's funny how they literally got the two best bench players in the NBA the previous season and both both had down seasons. But anyways, <clears throat> Schroeder turned down a contract, a four-year, 80-plus million dollar contract. He was going to make over $20 million a season and... Lord knows we've never seen that before, right? Because that's how the internet's acting. We've never seen it before. Come on, guys. Victor Oladipo turned down, what, a two-year $40 million from Houston. DeMarcus Cousins, the same thing. Um, Nerlens Noel. And everyone's so quick to jump on it. But did y'all realize where we're at now with Nerlens? He is suing LeBron James. We won't say Rich Paul because it's obviously LeBron's agency. He's suing LeBron for money loss, what, 50-something million? So we're always so quick to say it's the player, and I ultimately it's their decision, but don't be so quick. These guys are professional. They're being advised by professionals that do this for a living. That is his agent's job. So who knows You know what really went down there. Shit, he might not want to stay in LA and deal with LeBron shit for four more years. How do you know? Right? And besides, I'm under the impression that a year from now, it's not going to matter anyways. The man is going to do things in Boston, sign a decent contract next year, and then they'll be making fun of the next person. So he's just got to kind of deal with it now. So hang in there, Dennis. I mean, he just dropped a video on his YouTube where he was raising awareness for one of his wife's, child, um, wife's childhood friends who recently had a baby that um, is having some complications. So... My point is he, he doesn't give a shit about, you know, y'all talking. I mean, this man's still a millionaire. He's still an NBA player. He'll be fine. What is this? What are the Celtics getting with Dennis Schroeder? They are getting a guy who can strengthen that bench. Uh, I mean, provide the scoring that he can provide. Because in my opinion, the bench, the depth, the ability to score when the, when the you know, the studs sat down was just... It was rough last year. Being able to add a guy who the last time he was in that role nearly averaged 20 a game, that that's beautiful. And I think he will be 
such an addition to this team. I really do. I think that he will come off firmly into the six-man role. I said in my other video, I think that Horford will probably get the start of the year. So you're going to be looking at Schroeder and Rob Williams coming off the bench. Like I said, I think that'll be the first substitution. It'll be those two coming in. And just think of that. I mean, that top five to seven of our lineup is impressive. Now, from the Celtics perspective, first to say we lost the offseason, did they forget about the five, three or four moves we made prior to offseason free agency even starting? Like, people are so funny. They're not doing anything. They're just signed Dennis Cantor. Yeah, I mean, that's facts. But what about Josh Richardson, Kimber Walker, Ime Odoka, Danny Ainge, Brad Stevens? Uh, uh, come on, guys, relax. They loved, they love to hate on the Celtics, don't they? Excuse me. Edit that out, James. Why? God forbid I'd be a human being. Um, so the Celtics were in a cap situation. We did not have the money to bring on a guy of Schroeder's abilities, his talents, um, for the price that he was wanting. Obviously, he was wanting to get around $20 million a year. Um, and we didn't have that money. We didn't. We were already where we were at in fact i pretty sure if that move didn't transpire no other move would have happened we were pretty much done but then lonzo gets signed spencer dim when he gets signed tj mcconnell gets signed patty mills gets signed russ gets traded i mean a lot of the places that needed the point guards they start filling up all those spots they're gone they're you know so then you get into this position of do I go play for, I mean, you know, Orlando, no disrespect, Magic fans, or one of those type of teams for a decent amount, Memphis, whoever, you know, I'm just throwing teams out, don't draw my, I'm just throwing out random teams. Do I go play for one of those teams or do I go to a contender and actually try to increase my value? And that's exactly what he did. He ends up signing with the Boston Celtics on a, a vet minimum 5.9, I want to say is what it was, mid-level exception. If I'm wrong, please correct me, but I'm pretty sure he signed for just under $6 million, which is absolutely insane. And it's so funny because immediately all the articles changed from the Celtics lost the offseason to three days later it was, you know, which is true. That was without question, in my opinion, the best signing of the entire offseason from a talent to dollar stand. Not one player that signed a contract for the amount they signed at is more talented than Schroeder at the contract he signed, if that makes sense. You've got, excuse me, you've got um, Lonzo, 20 million. Schroeder, ACL, 20 million. You know, you've got guys like that signing those type of contracts, and I. Don't think smart 19 million. I don't think Schroeder is. I think he's right in that same bracket with those guys. In fact, you could argue that he's the better, you know, if you put Schroeder in those, he's not being outclassed in that group of players. These we're not talking about the Curries of the world, you know, like those caliber of point guards. He's right in there with the rest of those guys that are getting paid 20 million. And we signed him for a fraction of that, a third of that, almost a fourth of that. Think about that for a second. We got a $20 million guy for $6 million. The Boston Celtics won the offseason. Every single move that they made top to bottom capped off with the Dennis Schroeder signing results in them winning, in my opinion. We literally are in the same situation. If this does not work this year for whatever reason, one-year contract, he can go. It's okay. You can send him somewhere else. In fact, we need to kind of get into the conversation of if the Celtics are fourth, fifth, let's not say maybe more like a fifth or sixth middle of the East, you know, not contending. We're not going to win it this year. <clears throat> Do we trade Schroeder at the deadline? There's no way he's coming back, right? So do you potentially look at sending him somewhere, getting something in return? And a question I had, and, and, and if somebody can help me understand this a little better, let's say like a Denver wants to get rid of Aaron Gordon, but Aaron Gordon is making, you know, 15 million. Let's just say, I'm not sure. Let's just say it's 15. My, uh, You'll see where I'm getting at here. Excuse me. Could you send Schroeder to Denver if Murray's not healthy? 
And then even though Schroeder's only making six, which is obviously less than Gordon, can you then take Aaron Gordon and put him into the Fournier TPE, the 17 million in order for that trade? So my point is, let's say you want to, you have a player that you really, you like, you know that, you know, they're available, they're blah, 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 but they're like, they're wanting something for him that you're not wanting to give up. This isn't like Fournier was where you can give up some seconds or to a team that just wants the exception. They want value. Could you say, well, you know, Schroeder's gone. Can you then send out Schroeder for a potential guy that you're getting back? You would then have his bird rights because it's a trade. Um, I guess I just would like to understand that a little better. But for now, let's not talk about trading him. Let's just get this season going. Let's start like just seeing how this unit clicks. I'm expecting really good things from Dennis Schroeder. I really am. I'm expecting him to come off the bench. He's going to play probably around 29, 30 minutes a game. And he's going to probably average 16, 4, you know, 16 points, 4 assists. And he's going to be huge for this team. And if he's not, then his ass is out. I mean, you could trade him for anything. So I am thrilled about this. I am absolutely, like I said, in my opinion, that one move won them the offseason. I was going through all these articles this morning just shitting on our offseason as a whole. The free agency portion of it, excuse me, and then how quick they turned. People are really sleeping on this team. They really are sleeping on them. But um, like I said, a Boston Celtics team that is flying under the radar is dangerous as hell. So y'all keep sleeping. You continue to doubt while we continue to make you believe. Quick, short, straight to it, guys. I just wanted to touch on Dennis Schroeder a little bit more. I didn't really talk enough about him in my previous video, and that is probably right up there as the biggest moves of the offseason, just from a value point. Um, I have my fantasy football draft tomorrow, um, so you may not see a video this weekend. I have a few videos possibly coming out next week where I might be working with Gentleman Adam Taylor, um, the Pick Aside podcast. Um, so stay, stay tuned for those videos. I'm very excited about the opportunity to work with those channels. Shout out to some of the other channels, be smooth entertainment guy, Boston, John Corrales with locked on CLNS, NBC, Chris Forsberg, shout out to everyone. Go check out those channels. Everyone. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for making me a part of your day. I, once again, I'm truly honored. I'm truly humbled. I will be, um, posting something i would say probably no later than monday i'm kind of looking at different topics to you know venture everyone's making the same videos now predictions off season grades because this is it is the off season shit's a little dry right now month of august or september you know august september gets kind of dried out but we're only a couple weeks away i mean what is it four weeks right we're four weeks away from the start of the season my god man what it would be to be 20 years old again i mean where you can just keep going 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 my god but thanks again everyone i hope you have a blessed friday great conclusion to your week and even better weekend jags to riches james peters i'm out